Hey guys, what's up? Mike Wienerbach here. Question I got is, what are the differences in terms of dieting for somebody who is natural as opposed to somebody who is enhanced? It's a good question. So, there's a huge difference. So somebody who is natural has to think in months as opposed to weeks. What do I mean by this? So somebody who's using drugs can actually go down one percentage point of body fat per week meaning that guy can go from 15 to six, seven, and 10 weeks. You, as a natural, can absolutely not. So if you wanna compete in, let's say, October, and you are somewhere in the 16 body fat, body fat percent range, you have to start dieting in March. Yes, that is the truth, okay? I told you. Secondly, severity of deficit. Somebody on drugs can go into a much deeper caloric deficit and still keep the muscle. Whereas you, the natural guy, will not be able to tolerate this. You will absolutely burn through your muscle. So that's number two. Number three, due to the length of the diet, the natural guy needs diet breaks. That doesn't mean like IHOP and Wendy's and whatever you can eat. That just means every eight weeks or so you get a week where you eat at maintenance not pigging out just to stabilize your mind and your body the guy who's on drugs diets much shorter no need to go on diet breaks training frequency somebody on drugs can train much harder and much more often than you can being a natural guy and still recover because that's what the drugs do right they are really good at recovery then when it's all said and done, your body as a natural is a total catastrophe internally. What I mean by that? That means the testosterone levels of natural bodybuilders at le very low body fat percentages are basically at castrat levels. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Your thyroid is done. Growth hormone is shot. Meaning you're primed to gain a lot of body fat so if after the show you decide to not even pig out but go back to a reasonable diet you're gonna blow up so reverse dieting is a must for natural competitors meaning you can only improve your carbo increase your carbohydrates by let's say 10 grams a week and three grams of fat and so on and so forth where somebody on drugs can add huge amounts of calories and the drugs will help them store it you know insulin goes on and so on and so forth your upside is however you're not in the illegality and you live longer and your organs will stay fine. So, you know, it's all worth it. I'm just playing out what you have to do as a natural guy, what you have to consider. So when you're getting ready for a show and somebody tells you like, oh, I get you ready in 12 weeks, that's most likely a line of crap, okay? You will not be able to get ready in 10 to 12 weeks unless you're already very, very low, you know? And I can't hammer this home enough. The reverse dieting part after any show, any photo shoot is a must. Otherwise, you will blow up like there's no tomorrow because your body is basically saying, this was the worst famine ever and I survived it. And now you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna store so much fat just in case this happens again that I'll be ready for it, right? So reverse dieting, and you can look at my video in regards to that, is, is very tedious and it's very boring, but it will enable you to look good year round and not go through these horrible cycles of blowing up that I know I'm blowing up and then so on and so forth, okay? So, so I didn't have better news, but that, those are the scientific facts and that's what I'm here to give you. And you guys have a good day. Speak soon, bye.